Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and you are listening to another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. So, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is October the 18th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be talking to you today. We have a very exciting episode. Today, ladies and gentlemen, this episode will not be about marketing, will not be about any of that. Ladies and gents, we are going to discuss the hamster wheel of life and how if you want to really take control of your life, you have to get off the hamster wheel. Now, what do I mean by the hamster wheel of life? Ladies and gents, you know, we all get caught up in going and coming and going you know you start to do something like i'll give you i'll give you an example when i i went to college for a semester okay one semester it you know i i i knew early on you know i didn't have any money and i didn't want to be in a bunch of I didn't want to be in a bunch of debt trying to pay for college. So my, my mom, she was, you know, basically she wanted me to go. It, it sounds good. You know, you say, hey, I want my kid to go to college. But, you know, where's the financial, uh, you know, they wasn't, my parents wasn't going to pay. And, you know, at, at the time, I, didn't, I just didn't want a bunch of debt. And so, uh you know, my mom, we went to the, I remember we went, she said, oh, we, we're going to help you pay. I said, okay. And so we, we went to the, uh, we went to the place, we went to the college. And then when it was time to sign for the loan, I said, they want us to sign these papers. And she said, oh, you got it. You got it. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and sign. And I knew right then and there, I said, this is probably going to be my, this is probably going to be it for me. So anyway. I, I tell y'all that just to say, and I went to the Navy, I got out, and um, of course you get out, you know, I went to the military, and one thing about the military is cool, is they pay you, you know, you get paid twice a month, um, you're making some money, and so you get used to that, you get used to, you get used to working, you get out, you know, it sounds good to say, oh, I'm gonna go back to school, you know, I just kept thinking, I need a job, I need a job, I need a job. And, you know, it starts the uh, the hamster wheel of life, you know. Eh, get a job. Oh, I can afford it. I can afford it. I can afford this. I can afford that. You know. And next thing you know, I need an apartment. I need, I want to live on my own, you know. And so now you got these bills and you're you sort of going through, you're going through the hamster wheel. You're running. You know, you're paying stuff, making some money, paying stuff. It's very boring. It's very, <laughs> it's pretty dull, actually, if you think about it. The the hamster wheel because you get you get caught up and then you're like oh I I might want to go here or I might want to go over there or I might want to eat here I might want to eat there you know and you don't think about you know you really don't think about you know the effort you put into let's say you know you work you work somewhere you make it doesn't matter if you make you know thirty dollars or you make eight dollars you know you you work somewhere you want to go to the movies oh let me go to the movies you know it's what twelve bucks and not to go to the movies? You know, if you make eight dollars, so you you got to work an hour and a half <laughs> to go to the to the movies. You know, you start thinking about this kind of stuff, and you realize you know, you're running you're running a you're running a, a race on the hamster wheel. And it's a race that you're not. It's a race that you're not going to win because eventually things are going to happen. You know, at some point, especially if there's if Especially if they, if it's something that you are tolerating, you know, if there's if it's work that you are just tolerating, you just do to do, you know, and it's kind of like you're kind of numb to it. Eventually, there's going to come to a point where you're going to wake up and you're going to say, "This, you know, this either sucks, or this ain't what I want to do no more, or you might get injured, or anything like that." And so you. You want to quickly, you want to realize eventually, one day you want to wake up. Some people never wake up. One day you might wake up and you might say, 
what am I going to do with myself now? And so, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to, to, to help you out. I am here to tell you, before you get to that point, this is why you want to work on creating uh, financial plans. You want to have money coming in, you know, whether it be investing or anything. You know, it doesn't have to be. And, you know, I know a lot of people, they, you know, call you a dummy or whatever. whatever if, you, if, you're not, if you're not investing, you know, invest in, you know, this this is the time, no matter no matter how old you are, no matter where you're at in life. Today, you you listen to this podcast. Today is the time to figure out what can I do to start creating some income for myself. So that way, one day when I do wake up and I say, "Hey, today I don't want to do this. You know, I don't want to do." Sometimes you just wake up and you're like, "I just want to be. I just want to sit here." Sometimes you just want to sit there. Some people, you might want to go fishing. Some people want to sit there and watch TV. Some people might want to play the game. You know, I had a cousin of mine tell me once, we was talking about video games. I said, oh, yeah, my brother, he still plays video games. And he was like, mm, I ain't got time for all that. I'm an adult. And it's like, if that's what people like, that's what people like. If you like to play video games and you want to play video games, and one day you wake up and you go, you know what? I want to play the game for six hours today. You want to have the ability to do that. Instead of looking at your, you look at your bank account or you look, you look around and you go, I can't really, I can't take off, for, I can't take off for X amount of hours because, you know, X, Y, Z is coming up. That's when you realize I'm running, I'm running, a, I'm running a, a hamster wheel. I'm running a race that I, I, I ain't going to win. And trust and believe you me, you ain't going to win that race. That hamster wheel race, you run, you run, 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 and you just keep running. Yeah, run, 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 run some more, and you keep running. And every now and then, you might catch a little break, you know, get a bump in pay. But then you get a bump in pay, and unfortunately, in America, especially in America, you get a bump in pay, you go, ooh, I got a little more money. Instead of saving or investing or, you know, trying to figure out something to do with the money, most people go, ooh, I got a little more money. Let me go buy a higher price car, blah, 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 blah. That's that's the hamster wheel life. The hamster wheel life is tough. The hamster wheel life is uh, it's back breaking, and eventually you will be broke. <laughs> Not broke and financially, but you will be broke broke in. Okay, you'll realize, hey, what have I been doing with myself? And so, you know, whether you want to create a, you know, a business, whether you want to, you know, it doesn't matter what you want to do. But be creative. Find ways that you can make extra money and stock that and store that money. You know, put it in, you know, like I, like I said, you know, invest it, put it in the CD, put it in an uh, index fund, um, put it towards, you know, real estate or, you know, crypto, whatever. You know, put it, put it somewhere that you can start to see some returns. It doesn't matter if it's the smallest of returns. If you give a dollar to something and you can get a dollar and three cent back, that's three cent that you didn't have to, you didn't have to bump your head up against the wall for it, okay? You just want to get started. You want to, you want to be finding ways to create money because at the end of the day, you're going to get older. And the, the wild part is you're going to get older you're going to have the same habits and you're going to need, and it's, it's, it's wild to say this, but you need more money as you get older because you have metal, you have, you know, you want, uh, you know, it's just like when people get older, they plop. And when people get older, if you own a house and you get older, you want a, like a, you want a toilet seat that's a little taller because you don't want to plop you don't want to start plopping down on the toilet i mean look listen my parents came to visit me for for a few days a couple years ago my parents are 70 they're in the 70s now and i just kept hearing something i'm like what's going on they were plopping i was like oh man the 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 
the toilet's a little shorter and they're older. So they're like, you know, I don't want, I ain't doing all, you know, I was telling somebody the other day when you, I, I, you know, I rode the bus from, I rode the bus from um, California to Missouri. You know, I took the bus to Greyhound. I got out the Navy from California to Missouri. It was two days. And they said, man, how'd you do that? I go, well, I was, tw-. I said, well, I was 22. It was about price. It wasn't about, you know, oh man, I can get over here quicker. I said, plus I was newly unemployed. I had nothing going on. I mean, catching the bus for two days was not a problem for me. And so I just, I tell you all that to say, the older you get, the more cash you're going to need. And so I don't want you to, I don't want you to be scared or anything like that. But I do want you to be mindful and I do want you to be aware that. You know, instead of, you know, you know, because trading time in for dollars is cool and all, but, you know, at some point it's going to, it's going to be over with, you know, somebody's going to, somebody's going to shove you out the door. It's just, just the way it is. I mean, they shoved the president, the president's 80, 80 years old and they was like, no, you're not, don't, don't run no more because they thought he wasn't fit to run, to run. So doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter what you, you've done. They will shove you out the door at some point. And so you want to be, you want to be aware and you want to be ready when that time comes and you want to say, somebody pushes you, listen, you're either going to get pushed off the hamster wheel or you're going to jump off it yourself. But either way, you're getting off of it eventually. And so you want to look back, you want to look around and say, hey, I got cash. So because um, when you get older, the less money, you, less money you got, the more, the the harder it is for you. Because people, people, you know, kids, you know, listen, your kids, they'll turn on you. People will turn on you. You know, if you got some money, they go, oh, yeah, come on in. I'll, I'll, I'll help take care of you. You got less money. People are like, hey. Ship him to the nursing home. It's 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 just the way it is. It's life. This is a very gloomy episode, but I'm just here to let you know. You don't want to run that. You want to. You want to. I don't care if you're 50. I don't care if you're 60. I don't care if you're 30, 20. You want to start now. Start saving a few bucks and figuring out where where to put it, what to do with it. You know, invest it somewhere. To get some return to be getting some returns, you know. Um, whether you put it into a business that you can get returns from, put it into a website that you can get returns from eventually, put it somewhere, you know, doesn't matter, but put it somewhere. Index fund, you know, doesn't matter. Put it somewhere that you can start seeing returns. CDs, any anything. Just make sure you have money saving up. And so eventually if you say, Hey, I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to. Be, I don't want to do this no more. Okay, then you you won't have to. People, people. It's not a people. I know people love to t- tell you about financial freedom and all that kind of jazz. But the main thing is you want independence in life. You want because being feel like you're being trapped. You know, feel, feeling you know because broke people make the the most desperate moves when it comes to money and that's why people that's why the lottery is around that's why you know they have casinos people going there you know hoping and wishing and it's hey listen i went to the i went to the i went to the gas station before and was like man please let me win (laughs) please let me win please let me win a ticket you know uh it's, it's just the way it is you know when you when you're lacking in money, lacking in, you know, financial I, IQ knowledge, you know, and when you see, when you see people, when you start, when sometimes you see people in like, okay, that's what we got to do. We just work for money. Okay. You see that, you don't realize, hey, that's not the way to go. You you know, you figure it out eventually. And so I'm just here to, uh I'm just here to tell you, at some point, you, you're you going to want to get off the hamster wheel. I don't care who you are. And eventually, you can get off the hamster wheel. It's just up to you. Okay? And so, ladies and gentlemen, 
It's a very doom and gloom episode, but you'll be okay. You will get. You can get off the hamster wheel. You you can save. You can uh, you know, start a start a website. You know, you can start a business. You can uh, invest the monies. Whatever, whatever you want to do, just do just do that. But we'll be back with an all new episode of Online Marketing Moves on Monday. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless, and as always, everybody, peace.